In the southeast of New Delhi, these herders have travelled hundreds of kilometres to sell their livestock for the Muslim festival of Eid. But their journey gets more and more dangerous. Extremist Hindu factions defending national vegetarianism target the trucks transporting animals. Ali has been selling his goat in this market for the past 12 years. He now fears for his life. They are beating us in front of the police and nobody does anything. We are afraid that one day we will be surrounded by them and killed. Now we have to move our goats in cars because if we take the trucks, they will detect us. Maybe we should change our jobs because our lives are in danger now. This week, a Muslim man was once again murdered while transporting cattle in the southwest of the country. Fear is omnipresent and is now invading prayer spaces. This open ground was one of the 108 public praying spots allocated to the Muslim community on the outskirts of Delhi. But in 2021, violent protests led by Hindu far-right broke out, preventing Muslims from offering the Friday prayer. Today, only six public spots are left to pray. Harris a certain community by not allocating the space and when they're forced to actually look out for open spaces which is not disturbing anyone, then, you know, fringe elements reach out at those places, hurl abuses uh, or create an atmosphere of fear amongst them. Since Narendra Modi came to power in 2014, violence against the 200 millions of Indian Muslims has escalated. In this 17th century mosque of Delhi, the community feels the division in the society. There is a fear among us nowadays. Before, everybody, Muslim and Hindu, used to celebrate together. But now, it's not the case anymore. There is some kind of gap between people. In May 2024, India will hold its next elections. Muslims fear a rise of religious hate.